Hello, you must be our newest addition. Please, please, go ahead and take a seat. Hi, it's very nice to meet you. My name is Crystal. Mm -hmm. um, can I offer you anything to drink, maybe? Oh, you have your own? No, that's perfectly fine. I have my coffee here as well. We actually do have a pantry with a um, capsule coffee machine, <laughs> so I'm sure you'll find that enjoyable if you are a coffee drinker yourself. Anyways, as I said, my name is Crystal, mm -hmm. and I am an HR assistant here at Cloudy Media. Mm -hmm. So I will be helping you get started at this company. So this is basically like a little orientation to get you oriented. Now, um, obviously, I will not be able to really give you the full, um, you know, rundown on what you'll be expected to do um, in your position because I don't work in your department, but I will give you a little bit of an insight as to what the general culture and expectations as well as protocol um, is like at Cloudy Media. Mm -hmm. So feel free to take notes, but um, all of this information will be available to you on our server. Yes, um, we have a folder that is labeled employee guidelines. So if you ever feel like you want some clarification on something that I talk that I will talk to you about today, you can head on over there. Or you can of course contact me or any of my HR colleagues. Of course. Well, if you're ready, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on some of the most important things. Um, first of all, I'll write this down for you, but um, your direct supervisor mm -hmm, will be meeting with you at um, room meeting room 319. That's on, on level 3. It's um, level 3 is just full of different um, workspaces and um, meeting rooms, so it shouldn't be hard to find at all. There's a lot of arrows and things. So. Um, at 10 a.m. So right now it's 9, so you'll have some time after I'm done with you. I'll hand this over to you. Okay, um, and then I also have prepared this folder of important documents for you. There's a copy of your contract, mm -hmm. just in case, you know, you need it. You might have one on your own, but you know, and we also have printed out our um, holiday observances, so the holidays that um, we are off, and also just some further um, details regarding the mission statement, vision, as well as the core beliefs of our company. I believe your direct supervisor will talk to you more about that. I'm not really here to school you about, you know, your ethics and your passion or whatever. I'm just here to keep things running smoothly. So, but I do hope that you enjoy working here, of course. And I do hope um, that you find it to be a good fit for yourself and vice versa. So, be sure to keep um, this with you. Put it here for you. Wonderful. And it also has some information on tax documents, but I think we can talk more about that later on. The next thing is we're going to have to set up an email for you, a work email. 
So I do have your personal email on hand, but you might be able to guess you're not exactly encouraged to use your personal email for work purposes. So I'm just going to go ahead and create your latest um, work email and um, yes, there, it's just going to be your first name, doc, your last name, nothing's fancy or special, at cloudy media, actually it's at cloudy.media, no dot com. And let's generate a temporary password for you. Okay, you're a new password. I'm gonna write down your email address for you. Temporary password is going to be cloudy um, media ASMR1. Okay. So I'm going to stick this on your folder there. And that should do the trick. And once you are in your Google account, you'll see an influx of messages and welcoming you to the team, as well as giving you access to some of our workspaces, such as our Google Calendar. Um, and then we're going to have a general group calendar for Cloudy Media, which is going to tell you about holidays, um, events, you know, all of that general stuff. Then you'll also have access to your own department and you're going to have to, you know, um, you're going to have the ability to look at the specific to-dos, events, date, um, deadlines um, that are relevant to your department. Okay, and now I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight as to what we use to communicate. So. What we use to communicate is an application called Slack. Have you heard of it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is, um, it's a business communication platform that we work with. Um, and have you ever used Discord? You have. So Slack is sort of like a more professional, perhaps, um, version of Discord, some might say. Of course, Discord has a lot of, you know, great features and stuff that Slack might not have, but Slack is designed to sort of be appropriate for working. So we're going to have a general server, which I'm going to shoot you an invitation for to your new email, so be sure to accept the invitation and create your account as prompted. Um, so we're going to have like a main server channel that's going to be everybody, but not everyone can chat inside, but you can, um, you know, click like or, you know, that kind of stuff. I think it's similar to Discord. And we're also going to have a bunch of different threads. Um, um, so you'll be able to see that sort of on your site, such as on Discord, I would say. And, um, you know, after a certain amount of, like, um, after working hours, your account will automatically go to do not disturb mode, which is very fantastic because here at Cloudy Media, we really um, encourage a work life balance, but you can change your settings as you wish. If you want to be pinged after hours, you can do that as well. That's up to you. All right. So 
um, it's great for people who dip their toes in a few different uh, channel, a few different departments. For example, I myself am involved with a couple of departments for HR reasons. Um, you can, like I said, um, pause notifications and whatnot. So um, just make sure you are added to every single thread that is relevant to you. So you're going to want to download the desktop application as well as your mobile app. That's going to be the best for you. Um, So later on, when you get to your desk, um, you're going to want to make sure that you accept all of the invitations and um, let me know immediately if you have trouble, okay? Perfect. Speaking of your uh, workspace, so I'm going to bring you to it later. I'm going to give you a very brief tour um, on for your floor because I don't think you're going to need to know that much about our other floors for now. Um, you are going to have a work desktop. Um, we don't mind you using your personal computer, but just uh, keep in mind that uh, we really do not encourage you bringing any confidential uh, things with you back home on your personal computer uh, if anything ever comes up that way you might get in a little bit of trouble um, if any issues do occur regarding that so I really do recommend you sticking to the desktop if possible it is updated Windows 10 so you should have a decent time navigating it um, yes we use Windows so hopefully that works for you and um, you can bring in anything you like um, food goes in the pantry please label and discard anything you don't want otherwise we're going to have to have a whole meeting about it and that's not fun and um, our pantry is typically stocked with some soft drinks but um, you know don't take more than what you need you will notice if you're just grabbing a bunch and bringing them home so just don't do anything that you know I wouldn't approve you doing really you can imagine um, and sometimes on mornings uh, Friday mornings typically we have donuts or pastries and, um, and it's a fun time you know everyone sort of um, gets to slack off a little bit in the morning um, get some coffee. As I told you, we do have capsule coffee machines. Um, it's a partnership that we have with the company. And um, what else? On your desk, you will find some basic stationery, post-it, post-its, pencils, pens, you know. And oh, right. And we also have to get you started on a name card. So I already have your basic details, such as your name and your tag title, your position, and also, you know, address, um, your new email address, right? At cloudy.media. Um, but I'm going to need a phone number for you. I do have it on our database, but, you know, just to be sure. Perfect. So we'll get that printed for you and most likely you will have that by next week. How are you doing so far? Hanging on okay? Perfect. So the next thing that we're going to deal with is your bank details and I'm going to get that out of the way. So we get paid on the 26th of each month. Um, we don't do advances, um, but if you really, really are in trouble, talk to your direct supervisor and we might be able to sort something out. But um, we are... Hold on. 
So the bank that we use, mm -hmm, we use ASMR banks. So you're going to have to need an account for you do have one, but not at all. So do you happen to have your account number with you? You need some time to pull it out. No worries, just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna have to confirm it. Um, yep. So, we're going to directly transfer it to you and you will be emailed a pay slip, okay? You will get a ping from the email of the bank itself and you will also get um, a pay slip from us. Mm -hmm. And it breaks down sort of um, if you take any leaves and stuff like that. So it's gonna, yeah, because um, as you know from your contract, which you can refer to over here, of course, you're on probation for three months. Don't worry about it, it's just standard. You know, you're pretty much confirmed to be here unless you do something really bad. Um, so for those three months, you're not going to have any leaves, um, paid leaves that is, but after your three month stint, you're going to have 14 days of annual leave. That's great, right? Yes. And of course, medical leaves, we're going to need to see um, a, a medical certificate for that from your doctor. and. Um, if you ever have any emergencies, you will contact your direct supervisor and loop me in as well. I handle the affair, the HR affairs of your, your department, so um, I'll be in your Slack group as well. But you can obviously, if it's sensitive, you can just private message us. Um, let's see what else. You got your bank details. Phenomenal. What is the number? Okay. Okay, great. So it's going to be transferred directly to your bank account on the twenty sixth. Let me know if you have trouble with that. If you, if it's already been you know twenty sixth, twenty seventh, and you still haven't received anything, please let me know immediately. Okay. Alright, and now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of our benefits. So you're going to, after you're confirmed, you're going to get a $50 uh, allow, allowance for your phone. Mm -hmm, because you know you might need to call people, but mostly just as an incentive. So $50 um, phone um, pocket money, and of course after you're confirmed as well, we are going to pay for your parking. Um, we don't have our personal parking here, unfortunately. You have to use the parking tower, right? Did you drive here okay, by the way? Okay. Okay, great. So the parking tower. So once you're confirmed, we will handle all of that for you. You're never going to have to worry about it again. We're going to, you know, put you under our company tab. So... Don't worry about that. And then let's talk about claims. So you are already eligible for claims if you are driving to, let's say, you know, um, a work event. You're going to have to let me know what it's for. And all claims should be submitted um, by the 7th of each month. So you're going, I'm going to forward you a claims guide because if even if I tell you now, probably going to forget um so you know it's kind of pointless uh, so i'll just so email it to you it's by mileage we give out 35 cents for every mile um okay so we also do claims for just purchases that you think are necessary for your job obviously we'll have to screen them so you know and uh, medical benefits also come after your confirmation it is a maximum of a hundred dollars per visit to the doctor 
doctor and we cap it at $600 a year. Mm -hmm. And um, other than that, oh, that those are um, the bulk of our benefits. We have small benefits like, you know, annual trips and whatever, but those are really dependent on your department as well as your performance. Mm -hmm. Okay, I talked to you briefly about office housekeeping, <coughs> at least for the pantry. But, you know, just keep your workspace clean. We don't want to see very, very messy, chaotic stuff. Okay, and then as for dress code, um, smart casual, um, don't wear like short shorts and a tank top. But, you know, you don't have to wear, you know, long pants and a pencil skirt every day. You can wear the occasional short, just nothing too short and tight. Um, you know, like, literally, you know, uh, Daisy Dukes kind of thing. Um, and then for tops, you know, um, yeah, just, just, I'm sure you can imagine what the expectations for you are, especially if you're going to be meeting with clients. So, office security, you're going, we're going to later on um, get your thumbprint for our system so that every time you use your thumbprint, you are able to access the rooms that uh, you are sort of cleared for. Yep, um, let's talk about um, workplace visitors. Don't do it. Um, if you have to meet them on the ground floor or the first floor where, you know, there's like a uh, lounge area, don't bring them up to your department. We don't like that because, you know, we have a lot of sensitive, confidential stuff from clients lying around. It's just not good practice. Okay, do you have any questions so far? Okay. And then we expect you to be punctual, but, you know, 15 minutes, give or take, is fine. Okay, and then we're also going to do a monthly review that's going to be with your direct supervisor as well. Someone from HR, it might not necessarily be me, but just someone to be there to take notes. So that's going to be after your confirmation, and it's going to be uh, biannual, so it's like uh, once every six months, okay? And then we give out bonuses based on your performance and based on, you know, the conversation. So, yeah, definitely prepare. All right, and let's see. The thumbprint, basically, when you use your thumbprint to get into the building, and also, <coughs> apologies, it also works as sort of a, um, it also works as a clocking in, clocking out system. So don't worry too much about that. Okay, and that is honestly all of the things I need to run by you. Um, just to give you a little bit of an insight as to our company culture. As I told you, work-life balance is absolutely key. Um, we have trips occasionally, and we encourage every department to have their own trips. Uh, monthly or so, that's paid by the company. Because we really want to give a sort of community feeling. That's kind of one of the perks of being in a bigger company. I know sometimes bigger companies can feel too corporate, but it also means that you get a lot of benefits and a lot of community style things. We're not really huge anyway, um, but you know, just test it out to see what you think uh, during these three months. Uh, I'm not going to force you to, you know, So far, I've really enjoyed my time here, honestly. I'm not just saying that. And um, everything is very good and efficient. Everyone, the higher ups are, you know, not always around, but they aren't overly strict or micromanaging. So that's great. I've heard great things about your supervisor as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, yeah, we kind of want to just make sure that you're doing okay, so I'm going to check in with you every month during your probation, okay? Let me make a note for myself as well. I think you're going to be a phenomenal addition.
edition, okay? Thank you. And um, I look forward to working alongside you. So for now, um, if you would like to just gather your things, your notebooks and your file, we're going to go head to your floor, okay?